Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryda Matara and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash the like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody. Now before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Boss V31, Weez GNZ Gaming, and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go check them out and we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install add-on pairs mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always make sure that you do download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Now this mod does require native UI, so I'll leave this inside my description below as well. Make sure that you do download the latest version. Now don't forget, you will need to download Pet Selector, it is required, and I will leave this inside my description below as well. Now the mod that we will be testing this is Ada Wong. So we will be using this mod to test out add-on pairs. So if you do want this mod, I will leave this mod inside my description below as well. So let's get started. Now this video was requested by you guys and a couple of you have been telling me can you do an updated video for add-on pairs. So this is an update video and now we are going to get straight into it. So all you got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Now next if you do not have a scripts folder make sure that you do create one. Simply right click, go to new, then go to folder and name that folder scripts. Now make sure it is all lowercase and make sure that you do spell scripts correct. Open up your scripts folder. Now let's begin installing our files. Open up your release extract folder also known as native UI. Inside that folder there will be two files. Select both files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Now next, open up your pet selector extract folder and now there will be one file, just select that file and drag it inside your scripts folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Now go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now next, open up your add-on pairs extract folder. Now all you gotta do is just only simply Select add on pairs editor.exe and add on pairs vast.xml and drag those two files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now, next, go to your mods folder, go to your update folder, go to time 64, then go to DRC packs folder. Now, simply go back to your add on pairs extract folder. Then go to the DRC packs folder and now click on add on pairs folder and simply drag it to your DRC packs folder. Now go back to your extract folder, then go back to your main folder. Now open up your readme.html and now keep just keep scrolling down until you see the DRC packs line. There you go, copy this, okay, copy this, copy it, now exit, okay, and now 
all you gotta do next is simply exit out of your extract folder just minimize this for now go to your open iv now go to grand theft auto v windows this will take a few seconds it all depends on your pc performance once your application is open go to edit mode select yes then go to your mods folder go to updates go to update.rpf go to common go to data then scroll right down to the bottom until you see drclist.xml hover over it right click and edit then now just keep scrolling right down to the bottom then now click over here press enter and now paste your code right there then save it go back to your drclist.xml double click and just double check that it is saved yes it is now next go back to your gta v and i'll just leave it there for now because we will come back here soon now we are going to install ada one so next open up your ada one extract folder go to this folder go to whatever folder you want okay depending on what you want okay but i'm going to do default now next okay go to your open iv go to your mods folder go to updates go to time 64 go to drc packs go to add-on pads go to drc.rpf then go to pads.rpf and now simply if you want to you can delete all this okay it's totally up to you Simply select them all and then right click and delete. There you go. Now, next, select all of the files inside there and drag it inside your OpenIV. Now, let's go to the next one and open up this one. Select all the files and drag it inside your OpenIV. Now, exits out of your extract folder. Now, next, okay, I forgot to mention, drag each file onto your desktop. Like that, okay. Now, go back to your GTA V, go to edit mode, then exit out of your open IV. Then now go back to your Grand Theft Auto V folder. Go back to your main folder. Now, over here, it says add on page editor.exe. The next thing that you gotta do is right click and run as administrator. So once your add-on pets editor is open, go to your files that you saved on your desktop, right click and rename and now copy that name. Then go back to your add-on pets editor, then go to your page drop down menu, then now click on new pad. The model name is the name that you copied. The peer type is female and is string is false. Then I click on add peer. Now let's do the next one. Right click, rename, copy, then go to the page drop down menu, new peer, paste the name there, peer type, female, is streamed false then add paired now once you have done that click on rebuild then select ok now exit out of your dot exe now the last thing that you got to do is go back to your grand theft auto v main folder right click refresh your game folder exit out of your game folder and i'll see you guys in the game and now we are back with franklin so when you're in the game okay all you got to do to open up your menu is to press the l key on your keyboard there you go now it works now the next thing that you got to do is go to add on kids and now you can pick which one you want okay so let's go to ada 
and then there you go. It simply works, okay? Now you can change her outfit using whatever menu. I use menu, so you can go to player options, go to wardrobe, then go to front view so you can see the whole view. Then now you can change the outfit like here, change the hairstyle, the hair color, I think, yep, or no. Uh, hairstyle to whatever style you want, okay. I think torso is there too, yep. Change the color of the torso and change that to the color. So, yeah, and um, I think legs is there, yeah, legs is the glasses. Um, no, just play around with these, okay, guys, so you know, okay. Now, let's go and press your L key. Go to add on pairs, and now let's check the other one. And then there you go. So you can change the outfit using Mino. Then now you can just change the hairstyle to whatever you want. Okay. Um, you can change the torso as well. Change the colors. So it's totally up to you. Okay. You can just go around and now. Uh, pick whatever outfit you want for your character okay so i hope you guys do enjoy it it does work 100 percent and this mod store works as well so i hope you guys do enjoy that but i know it's gonna be a bit hard for the newbies okay so if you guys do get stuck installing this mod then please let me know in the comments and i'll be more than welcome to help you out on that or if you do get stuck installing any other mods, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well. Now, unfortunately, I do not reply on my YouTube comments because I do not get the notifications on time. So if you do need fast reply, then go inside my description below and now join my Discord server and make sure that you do verify the PC modding support server. So with that said, okay, if you guys did enjoy that, or if this tutorial was helpful, then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials. And I will see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace, and I'm out.